Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for February 5th through February 11th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. Now if you guys are in a happily ever after, this reading is probably not for you. It may not resonate with you, it, or it may. Just take what does and leave the rest. This is a weekly love reading. We're going to get two oracle cards, and then we will break into the tarot deck. Oh, we got two. We're going to go with the top one. Ooh. Attraction. You, are, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And you know, when two cards fall out, I can't just go with one. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Now we are going to get one more. Optimism attraction and peace that fell out and flipped over the cards were like this was that card not meant for you i believe it was peace i am i am a being of love and i release all negative energy stay optimistic about your love life you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And you are a being of love. And it's time to release all of the negative energy. Do apologize if you hear the heat in the background it's bitter cold outside and I'm not turning it off so there's some family issues going on right now it appears there could even be some family feuds there could be fears of leaving children all right or something to do with the children uh, there is definitely some issues in your family life put it that way something needs to be done and you guys aren't doing it okay that's what that's what I see it's like you guys need to do something and you're not doing it you're being offered this power you're you ha you're being offered this awakening this wake-up call you have the power the power is in your hands it's time to accept the truth it's time to speak the truth there's some kind of dream in your life and that's dying okay it's like a dying dream here and now and you guys are resisting it something needs to happen you need to make a move and you're just not doing it it's time to listen to your inner guide it's time to have faith in yourself it's time to believe in yourself many of you have been seeking guidance okay but you know what you need to do deep down inside you just aren't using the power you aren't using the power that God is giving you okay you have the power to follow your own path you just lack a little bit of faith in doing it and that's the damn truth, okay? It's like I don't have the strength, I don't have the discipline, I don't have the willpower, your emotions may be all over the place. Maybe you're lacking some confidence and courage. You know, that could certainly be the case. But the thing is, is you're robbing yourself, you know, and eventually, eventually it's going to come out, okay? Eventually, you can only do this for so long. You can only do this for so long to yourself until it comes out. It is going to come out. So I think that many of you, um, something, it's like you could get caught perhaps or somebody that you're dealing with could get caught. I'm not sure what this is. Somebody could get caught doing something. Um, but, you know, okay, wait, I'm going to stop. Eight, eight, eight. Eights are now right now okay two of them are reversed that's and I was going off of this one and this one when I was saying that you guys aren't doing something now you have the three okay the time is now 
but you guys are definitely resisting what you know you need to do. You're resisting it. You're being urged to take action to do it because you can only get away with this for so long. Okay. Right now, there's lack of emotion, emotional support. There's lack of love or something like that. And I feel like that one of the reasons some of you are staying in a predicament is because perhaps because of children, because this is a family with children, but it's reversed. Um, right here, you're, be, you're being given a new direction, a new beginning. It's like this is a lesson that you need to learn, okay? Because when the world card comes out, it means there's a lesson here. It's time to celebrate your success. It feels like there, you, you, there's a new beginning that is needed, but you're not using your, you're not accepting the truth. You're not speaking your truth, okay? This is a new beginning in love. It's reversed. There's no new beginning because somebody is not accepting the truth. Somebody is not using their power. They're not opening their eyes, okay? Whew. Many of you, this this could involve a third party situation. You want to do one thing, but you can't do it because you're in perhaps a commitment with somebody and you can't get out of it right now. You can get out of it, but you're not using your your strength to do it. You're not using your courage and your confidence because your strength is reversed here. You're not using it because you don't want to put the effort into it. But you're being told to with these three eights. It's like, go ahead, do it, do it, do it, do it. I mean, that's what these eights are saying. Do it. Once you do it, you will have learned the lesson that you need to learn. But right now, there's no togetherness in your life. It's like, I don't feel like I even want to be in this predicament. But I don't quite have the strength to remove myself from it either. Let me zoom this in. <laughs> your inner guide. Your inner guide. Your intuition. Your gut has been telling you the truth. Your inner guide. Your gut. Your intuition has been telling you the truth. It's time. It's time for you to go have some fun. It's time for you to receive what you deserve. You could be involved in a third party situation, whether you've been with this person or not. Many of you, <coughs> and whether it's you or your partner, there's a third party situation here. There is. And now it's time to make a decision. It is, but you're, there's a contract that needs to end so that you can go to the go to your truth go to the truth i mean you know what i mean there's something there's a contract that needs to end so that you can have two instead of three we have three three okay three three to two all right so there's 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 a problem here three is a crowd and if in in thing is is if you're with somebody or not say say that you're just thinking about another party that's still a third party situation because somebody else is in your mind. This is a break in a contract within a partnership, okay? Oh my God. Okay, so many of you, okay. Three, three, two, two, all right? So there is definitely, I think there's a third party situation here, whether it's you or the other person. And it's time for somebody to make a decision, okay? So that it can be two, not three. All right. There shouldn't be two people on your mind or on your partner's mind. There should only be one. Do you know what I'm trying to say? There's some uh, there's some false bond here that needs to break, and you're being called to free yourself. You have to free yourself from this false bond. There's some kind of sabotage here, where you're sabotaging perhaps your future because you're not making a decision. You know, there's a, there's a feeling of you know, I'm, I'm tied to this and I can't free myself. But the fact of the matter is, is that you can free yourself. I think there's a new choice in love that you really want to go down that road, but you can't go down that road because you have a contract with somebody else and you have to break the contract and you haven't broke the contract yet. And that's where this dilemma lies. And that's why you have these two eights reversed. It's like, and your inner guy is telling you, do it, do it do it because you have a lesson to learn here you do you do and this is some kind of lesson that must be learned right now there's a lack of togetherness there's a lack of 
love, okay, in a situation that somebody is tied to and the contract needs to be broken. And the fact of the matter is, is you're losing sleep over it. This is the commitment. This is like a wedding. This is, you know, this is a commitment. It's reversed. Like I said, connected to this contract that needs to be broken. There's some kind of commitment that somebody is in that isn't stable. And it's people, it's causing a lot of anguish, despair, and sleepless nights. And there's a lack of energy. There's a lack of passion with one of these people. Whether it's you or your partner, there's a lack of passion in your life for one person. And that's why somebody's mind is on another one. Okay? And it's something, somebody from your past, perhaps. You know, there's somebody from your past that is probably on your mind or in your life that wants to re-enter but there's a commitment and a contract that is still in place and this is the sword that breaks the contract this is the sword that breaks the contract okay there's could be some upcoming legal matters there could be a divorce in the future things are really really heavy there's a weight a weight or heaviness surrounding this huge choice that you have to make I think that many of you are living um, pretend playhouse pretend thank you Lord pretend this is the fake it till you make it card <laughs> I love it when they do this. Pretend. I'm just pretending everything's okay, but everything is not okay. It's time to compromise. Time to bring some balance back to your life. Everything happens for a reason. It's time for you to have your mute it's time for you to have respect. Respect for yourself. I see success here. It's time for you to take the lead and to have confidence in yourself. I feel like many of you, and that's the card of Virgo, that's the hermit. Many of you are going through a midlife crisis. And you're so feeling lonely, even if you're with somebody. I'm lonely. I'm not happy here. I'm not happy. This is loneliness reversed. I'm really, really not happy. But this contract is in place. And I can't move forward. And so you may, you're faking it. And you may be, you may be even overindulging in drugs, alcohol, food, spending, whatever, to get through this fake it period of time. Anything to pretend to to block it out, block out the truth here. All right. So I think that many of you are going through some kind of midlife crisis, and you have this fear of being growing old alone. This fear of being let down. What if I make the mistake and this person, that I, this other person doesn't want me? Or say you, uh, you have, if you're single now and somebody from your past wants to come into your life, you may be feeling like, what if, what if I let this person in and then they don't want me? There's a big fear here of being let down. Big, big fear. I'm going to grow old alone. I'm going to grow old alone. And I feel that way for many of you. If I make the wrong choice, I'm going to grow old alone. Many of you don't want to grow old alone. So you're staying stuck in a predicament that doesn't fulfill you sexually. And you're growing weary. You're growing weary. Like you can't take it anymore. And you're being urged to have no fear and get moving. It's time for you to receive, don't you think? Because right now there's none. I mean, right now there's not equal give and take. Because somebody ain't happy. Whether it's you or your partner, somebody is not happy in this relationship. And that's why somebody else is on their mind. I have to tell you that... You need to let go of this fear of being lonely forever. You need to let go of it. 
You need to let go of this fear of being let down by whoever it is that's on your mind. There's a contract here that somebody does not want to be in, and they're pretending that they do. And right now, God is offering them the power to, to use this sword to do whatever it is that they have to do. This is the hand of God handing you this sword to do what you got to do. Truthfully, to be honest, that is the sword of truth. And it's being handed to you by God. And he's saying, have no fear. This is have no fear. Because where you're at, there's no forward movement. Nothing's going to change. And if you do make a move, there's passion in front of you. If you do the right thing and be honest, do the right, this is the sword of truth. Remember the sword of honesty. If you do the right thing and be honest and be truthful and use this power correctly, passion, excitement, fertility, and growth is right in front of you because you're right here looking at it. This is the sign of Virgo. You have the ability to have all of this, but you have to do this first. So the first thing to do is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stop feeling like you're going to be let down and you're going to grow old alone. Stop feeling like that. That's just a thought. Bring some peace of mind back into your life. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Release it including whatever it is you don't want. Positive thinking, release negative. Positive thinking, release negative. And once you do that, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And that's going to happen. Once you release this energy that you don't want to be in, you don't want to be. But because you don't want the conflicts, you don't want to do the work, you don't want to go through this feud that it will cause. It will cause a feud. There's lack of passion. But this is the outcome. Should you do the right thing. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Living in the now. Stop worrying. So I think you have the opportunity for passion, excitement, fertility, growth, expansion. But you have to take action. It's a, this is a wake-up call. Are you going to accept that sword or not? Do what's right for you. This reading is not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. Okay? Many of you are just are already separated, but you're still hanging on to the past. There's new love here that wants to be part of your life, but because you're still st hung up on somebody from your past, it's not coming in. <laughs> and you fear your fear that you're going to be let down. So you're not letting anybody get close. That's somebody's scenario. So the, another people's scenario is they're in a commitment now that they don't want to be in, but they can't leave it because they don't want the feud. Now, like I said, this will not resonate with everybody. Whoever it's for, let me know. If it's for you, let me know. I feel like there's definitely you are being offered the ability to speak your truth. Should you realize what you deserve?
And that's what I have. Talk to you later.